Good morning, folks. We've got three interesting links up today. A follow-up to the Seattle quake risk story from a few weeks ago, a new comparison of Hubble and James Webb, and an interesting story from Juno in Jupiter's orbit. But first, if you missed last night's video, the CME released by the plasma filament collapse yesterday morning, which we said we would update if we could, did produce a CME that is likely headed for Earth. Last night, we showed the updated coronagraph images and the endless spirals. Pretty much all things in agreement here. Impact likely tomorrow night or maybe Sunday morning if it's a bit slower. Minor geomagnetic storms are expected. After the filament collapse, things were much calmer. No big flares and no other eruptions aimed our way. Peripheral releases were small and the sunspots are departing, leaving us focused on other incoming plasma filaments eyes on the solar wind this weekend. Hopefully you recall the Seattle quake risk article from a couple weeks ago. This one confirms the high risk via investigation of ancient underwater landslides nearby. Their thousand year event is a magnitude 7.5 and perhaps even bigger. Would not want to be there when that happens. Up next, we've got a comparison shot between Hubble and James Webb. You can see how Hubble shows the glow of the halo expanses a bit better while James Webb pierces the dust veil and sees more fine detail. At the link below, they also have a combined stacked image of the region. But our top story today hits Jupiter, and it's not only giving us a new window into how the planetary clouds operate, but it's telling us something else. Folks, if Juno can get such good details about the topside winds, and even what's hidden below, as is the case in this article, you're telling me it's never spotted the upper level jet stream before and it took James Webb from Earth's orbit while Juno is out there in the orbit of Jupiter? Mm, I don't think so. This story from Juno tells us that the upper level jets at Jupiter weren't missed before they are new and part of the ongoing solar system shift. We greatly appreciate your support. Eyes on the solar wind the next two days. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.